TV. And today we get to hear about Ocean Springs Visitor Center as they kick off their Mardi Gras with its annual King Cake Contest. I can't think of anything else more delicious. Joining us to tell us a little bit more and how we can take part is Cynthia Sutton. She's with the Ocean Springs Main Street Association. Hey, Cynthia. Cynthia, are you with us? How are you? Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you now. Yay. I was like, oh, you know, technology is great until it's not. But how delicious is this contest? And I love to see it's annual. So how long have y'all been doing the King Cake Contest? Yes, just for a few years. Not too long, but enough to have fun with it. (laughs) So what's the idea behind it? Because I know it's friendly. It's just all about getting people to the visitor center, but also uh, showcasing your local talent there. But whose idea was this? When did this all get kicked off? Well, uh, you know, I thought of it a few years back because we, being the visitor center in Ocean Springs, we kept getting people coming in from all over. You know, it's January, so it's kind of snowbird season. So a lot of people are coming from Wisconsin, Minnesota, Michigan, and I really just found out that those people really didn't even know what Mardi Gras was. So that's kind of how it came about. People just kept asking. They didn't know the history. You know, they didn't know what the baby and a king cake was. They didn't even know what a king cake was. So we thought, you know, snowbird season, we love Mardi Gras. It's just kind of a fun little way to tell the world what Mardi Gras is and what better way than to have people taste it. <laughs> Absolutely, and a king cake. I bet they, they're going to start moving to Ocean Springs during the during their winter time there, uh, Cynthia. Right? Not just visiting, if they get to come down and experience the beach and Mardi Gras, what more could you ask for during your off season? So how does this work? Because exactly. it's a multi-week kind of contest, and I think contest is kind of loose. So like, I don't think it's a, you know, I think it's more friendly. <laughs> But how how do you guys uh, set this up from, I know it kicked off January the 16th, and it's going to run through February the 10th. Yeah, so every three days, we showcase a different um, king cake treat. You know, like today, we have king cake cookies, in addition to a king cake cake. You know, we had Killwins, which is a... Um, uh, ice cream shop in Ocean Springs, they had king cake candied apples. So every three days we showcase something different from our different participating restaurants or bakeries. People can come into the visitor center, taste a bite, and actually vote. They cast their vote one to five, five being the tastiest treat they've ever tasted. And at the end of the season, we literally give an award out to the best king cake in Ocean Springs. So who got it last year, Cynthia? Um, actually, it was a baker who does it out of her house and goes to festivals and runs one of our markets, Miss Joyce Champion, Champion Gourmet. And she makes some of the best, gooeyest, tastiest, creamiest king cakes. <laughs> you know, if you start getting a good rap for having good king cakes, folks will hunt you down year after year after year to make sure that they get one of your special treats I love, though, that you're opening it up to other things to sort of bring the king cake flavor into, like cookies and other kind of treats, I think, and candied apples. That sounds really interesting. As you've done this over the years, Cynthia, has more restaurants or bakers in the Ocean Springs or Mississippi Gulf Coast area jumped on board with maybe innovating just so they can have something, you know, in the rotation? Yes. Yeah, we really have. Like, we kind of get to where we have some of the past winners. They're automatically, when January hit, they automatically start reaching out and say, you're going to come get one of my king cakes for the contest, right? And then now we have more. We have people calling just saying, hey, I know I don't do king cakes. Like, the Lady May is a restaurant in Ocean Springs. They literally are doing king cake on their menu during the season, um, king cake cheesecake and things like that, and we're showcasing them. So it kind of also helps our local restaurants kind of do something special for this season because those tourists are going and eating at places throughout town and not just coming to the visitor center. <laughs> you know, it's um, interesting when you talk about the snow. I think you use the word snowbird. Uh, maybe for those that are like high, like leaving the snow and heading to Ocean Springs yes. uh, for the winter. Um, but then you think about, too, like usually we hibernate during this time. Maybe we're not getting out and about as much. So this is a good reminder that our local eateries and bakeries still need a reason for, you know, for us to get out and come and give them business um, during this time of year. Do you have a list? Is there like a place where everyone who is taking part in the King Cake Contest, Cynthia, uh, there in Ocean Springs, like on your website or something, if we wanted to go browse and see who's offering what? 
Yes, it should be on our Facebook page. Um, we're just we just did have just a little listing of a flyer on our Facebook page of all the participants. Um, uh, so yes, it should be on our Facebook page. Like later this week, we're going to have K Donut Donuts that make King Cake Donuts. Yes, that listing should be on there for everyone to see. It's really cool. We actually have some families that come in every three days. We do it Monday through Saturday to taste a different kinky. They're bringing their kids just for a fun little outing. So it's kind of become really cool, a good community event. I think it's a good – it also highlights what all can uh, be gotten or is available there at your visitor center, right? Because you feel like, especially if you live in the area, maybe you're not always popping into your visitor center. But for those listening to Good Things, Cynthia, and maybe traveling through, maybe we want to be snowbirds. We want to get away and head to the Mississippi Gulf (laughs) uh, Coast ourselves in our own state. What do our visitor centers, particularly yours, have to – to offer folks when they come into town. Oh, yes, I love it. Thank you. Yeah, well, our visitor center is in the LN, uh, historic LN train depot in downtown. So it's a really cool place to go just to check out and see the history, to watch, you know, one of the trains go by. But we also have so many brochures about Ocean Springs and outside of Ocean Springs and what people can do and see. We have a full calendar of events in there that people can take with them so they know what the staple events and activities that are going on throughout Ocean Springs, from the Mardi Gras parades to our festivals to what's going on at the Walter Anderson Museum of Art, as in like a festival or event. So we just have a bunch of informational pieces inside the visitor center that people can just gather and um, kind of start their way. If if someone's already thinking about their spring break, I can't believe we're already talking about that, Cynthia. It'll be here (laughs) in like six to eight short weeks. I'm sure you guys are already on it, thinking about events and things. I mean, is that the best place to go or where's a good place to go to maybe plan our trip to Ocean Springs? That literally is the best place to go. We're right in the center at the start of downtown. So I like to tell everybody, stop by the Ocean Springs Visitor Center. We have an Ocean Springs Visitor Guide. We have a walking map. And it really just kind of starts at the start of downtown. So it kind of kicks off your trip. You know, that's what we do. We're tourism professionals. So we'll help you plan your trip. We'll give you places to go eat. We'll even help you find a place to stay. Is there still time to plan a trip down for one of the Mardi Gras parades? Or have they already passed by in Ocean Springs? There is. The first one is on January 27th on Saturday, and then the other parade will be the night parade. I believe it's February 9th. Don't quote me on that date. It's the Friday night before Fat Tuesday. So, yep, we, we we're just starting here in Ocean Springs. <laughs> what do your snowbirds think when they get down there and get a taste of Mardi Gras? I just love that. I never, never thought about, like, you guys being able to introduce them to something they would have never had the opportunity to even experience. What do they think once they right? get there? I mean, that's really cool. Like, a lot of them are kind of nervous a little bit because they don't know what it is. But by the time they leave, and if it's not like a snowbird staying for the month, we'll actually see them come back two or three times. So it's really cool that we're really, like, relaxing them. We're we're opening their eyes to this culture, and I can tell you they just fall in love with it. We actually had a family today getting the parade route for Saturday because they were coming over from um, up north, but they wanted to maybe go to New Orleans, maybe Mobile, but decided to go to Ocean Springs instead. So and, that's just, really cool. and it's right here in our state. So if we hadn't taken the time to come and visit, I think that's, you know, that's on us. We should definitely add that to our to-do list. I mean, folks are flocking yeah. here, you know, from all over. We should go and visit ourselves. Um, we heard earlier on the Paul Gallo show, uh, Cynthia, about the great hotel that's being restored there where Elvis stayed. I think it's the Hidden Hills. Gulf Hills. Yes. Well, yeah. Yeah, Gulf Hills is the current one. But the, the people who own Gulf Hills, um, which is where Elvis stayed, he lived there for two years. We also having downtown the same company is restoring an old two-story office building um, into a new hotel as well so yes we have we have some fun history and some great places for people to stay and so where's those places to go if we want to online if we want to get all the list of the king cake items as well as just plan our trip to ocean springs Yes, you go to our website at OceanSpringsChamber.com. You can download a walking map. You can download your own um, tour guide straight on the website, OceanSpringsChamber.com. All right, Cynthia, I appreciate your time. I'm jealous that you get to get a new yummy treat every three (laughs) days, but it was good talking with you. I've been having to go to the YMCA a lot more, but it's great. (laughs) (laughs) All right, you guys stick with us. we got more good for you coming up next.